part more than anything. So, not um, what, about twenty-two pounds in weight. I hadn't gone to a gym really before. Not since I hadn't really been very physical whatsoever since I've done. And uh, I mainly kind of had a really terrible diet. Like I could just ate lots of um, like jacket potatoes and chips and Mars bars. Um, and just like really, I didn't eat healthy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing really healthily. I started doing kickboxing. I started working out with a friend of mine, mm. and um, I knew I had to cut my hair. And though I didn't want to, I knew it was in service of the part. Um, and I stopped wearing any makeup, and I just wore the sportswear and some androgynous clothing and train trainers, training shoes I hadn't worn before. Um, and. Uh, mm. I, 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 it, was, it was a really interesting process because it was not just about getting this part and being, you know, as good as I possibly could be, but I knew that it would um, lead to me acknowledging things about myself that perhaps I hadn't wanted to, to acknowledge it before, mm -hmm. which was my own androgyny, my own masculinity, and my own strength. And um, without being cheesy about it, it's been uh, a, a fascinating journey for me as a person as well because it's made me examine what it is to be a woman and how a woman doesn't have to conform to conventional stereotypes and how, you know, beauty is perhaps not the way that we look when we're born, but it's perhaps more about the choices that we make. Mm -hmm. And that's been revelatory to me.